Alright lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Kaiser Redux mod as the Kingdom of Italy, the Mediterranean Axis and Il Duce Italo Balbo. First of all, happy 4th of July to all of the Americans. Sovereignty is a beautiful thing. Not being a colony of someone else is a beautiful thing. If you can, say, imagine a world in which the American War of Independence had failed, the ramifications globally would be... Uh, large to say the least but let's imagine that the british weren't able to harness the resources of america like the americans themselves were the ramifications for something like world war one and in particular world war two would have been colossal now obviously britain britain would have had far more resources in that world because they would have had america but it's you know alternate history is convoluted but either way the americans exist and that's a good thing imperialism isn't a good thing but it's good that they exist because ultimately you need Obviously, I'm not pro-blowing up Iraq, Libya, Syria, all of that. But ultimately, you do need a counterweight to the Russians, the Chinese, the uh, South Americans, if they ever got their shit together, the Europeans. Uh, multipolar world is good. Unipolar, wor unipolar world, bad. Yes. Now, where, uh, what are we going to do? Or are we going to invade the Entente? Let's have a look. I mean, we, we nearly might as well, because... Yeah. Yeah, God, I wish our allies would hurry up in the Baltics. They, they don't attack, like, together. And they're beginning to take decent casualties. Uh, now, tungsten. Germany has some tungsten, right? Subject. Yeah, you've got a bit of it. Oh, it's having trouble. More steel, please. <clears throat> no, that's all fine. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. What's this? Oh! Sweet mother. We lost 18 convoys. British submarines. Well, as soon as these ships are up and running again, we'll send the navy out. Yeah, that's rough. What's that? Ah, yes, remember our heroes. Yes, free civilian factories. Kind of running out of slots, to be honest. Maybe we'll, uh, yeah, we'll bump up these areas. This trip. We should probably finish up in, in the Nordic countries first. Yeah, we probably should. Why so many aircraft here? I'll go up here. Bins. That should help immensely. Yeah. Yeah, we should be fine here. Also, I can't be using the entirety, yeah, all of these troops. So just to, uh, you know, guard friends. Let's get another marshal. Pietro Bagdolio. Pronto all'azione. Probably should have done this a while ago, but here our allies are acquitting themselves fairly well. Yeah. Things are going swimmingly in southern Sweden. A lot of vessels in that one. Almost 1943. Got the Fusil anti caro. Uh, I, yeah, I can nearly you see what that is. Fusil, yeah. Anti. Uh, Anti-tank weapon because Caro Armados. You know, tank. Uh, 
They're cancelling the land lease, that's fine. Ordini. He probably had to spread back out. That's fine. Oh, shite, I forgot about that. Someone gonna deal with that? No one's gonna deal with that. I'll deal with Formazione. that. Pronto, signore. Ordini. We arrived here yet? No, we're still on the way. That's fine. Southern France, targeting what states? And it's gone now. France, Vlanderen, and Vlanderen. Did I read that wrong? Yeah, France, Vlanderen. Where is that? There's Vlanderen. There's this one. Yeah, talking about that one. I think we actually do have another marshal for you. We do, Achilles Killy Saracha. Very nice. Si, signore. Pronto all'azione. Military factories, I will not say no. We're working on Italian liberation. We are we are gonna get so much manpower, I swear. Oh yes, things are going very nicely here. There's no point in being on this side of the border.
I'm not dealing with these crashes anymore. I'm gonna have to end the series. Oh yeah. I will boot the game back up. And um I'll end the series, yeah. I don't like doing this. This because this this will be twice that Balbo has been fucked over in the same universe. Right, I'm just not dealing with it anymore. No, it's every episode now that I have to boot the game back up, and that takes fucking 15 minutes. No, nope. I do bigger and better things. Plus, the views have been collapsing. My monkey brain needs views. Yeah. All right, here we are. This is uh. This is how we're going to end everything. I'm sorry to have to do this a second time, but I can't. The game just can't keep crashing like it is. Allow me to explain pretty much everything I've done. I decided not to go to war against the Entente. What I decided to do was I gave French national state France back in exchange for recognizing Italian sovereignty over Gab and Tunis, as well as Corsica and uh, Niza, Savoy. Uh, well, they asked her? No, I don't think. Maybe. Uh, Roman D, Alta Savoia, and recognizing a German sovereignty over Elsass Lothringen, as well as uh, Luxembourg and Deutsch Wallon uh, Wallonian and other such states. How did you get released? You're a puppet of the French. You shouldn't be. France. Uh, let me fix that. State managing two. That a core of yours, country annexing two. Now we'll make sure no one else is marked. Okay, that can be a problem. It doesn't clear the mark. It doesn't. It doesn't clear the marks after every annexation, which is annoying. Mark you. Annex. That didn't uh, mess anything up. It didn't. I've annexed Amalia because, of course, uh, of course, Italy used to have that as a core, or not as a core, sorry, as a colony. Um. I just, I, the reason I didn't annex them straight away after we defeated them is because they had a national folk tree and that allowed them to get another dockyard, another military factory. I've also taken er Eritrea, the, the, the Eritrean territories back off of Somali, or uh, the Abyssinian Empire because they have finished their folk tree where they got a couple of dockyards, a couple of factories. We just have the entire coast in there. It kind of looks nice except for the name. We have Djibouti as well. Um... What else? Yes, I've released the Spanish because, of course, we would have eventually conquered the Spanish under the Carlists. Uh, the Portuguese are here as well, of course. They're not, um, you know, they're not a puppet at all. They're an independent power. Who else do we have? I gave the Germans Austria and the German territories in Switzerland. I also gave them Elsass Lothringen, Luxembourg, uh, Deutsch Wallonian. That's, I, I could also give uh, them Dutchland, but um, obviously, Dutch is a. It's more than just a Germanic language, it's a German language. It's kind of like old German, shall we? Well, they didn't update their, their language and the rest of the Holy Roman Empire was doing so. But, um, that, yeah, that would take, you know, quite a long time in order for something like that to happen. Again, this guy literally just looks like, uh, uh, Jordan Peele, if he was European. Um, and tell him stat. But, um, well, yes, I released the British under and, uh, Anthony Ludovici. Yeah, so the, uh, the Canadians are getting cocked in this timeline. Um, yeah, basically that's that's pretty much it. Uh, the French obviously came back to us because uh, I believe actually that it used, I think it may still be a thing in Kaiserreich where if you conquer France, you can give it back to the French national state in exchange for them joining the alliance. Uh, you can also do do if you conquer Italy, you can give it to the Sardinians in exchange for joining your alliance. But I don't think you can do it to the British. Um, like if you conquer Britain, you can't say, "Hey Canada, we'll give you Britain if you join our alliance." They're kind of like the head honchos of the Entente, so you can't do that. Which is annoying, but um, it's also, you know, all right that there's still a few factions around the place. Buenos Aires, Lima, Axis is uh, looking pretty thick. So is the Brotherhood of Eurasia, Russia, still hammering their heads against them. Terrible supply. What are the casualties looking like? That's the wrong one. There we are. 1.74 million. Delightful. Um... Yes, yeah, we'll go through that in the after-action report. Uh, Italy is looking pretty damn good. 
So let us do Great Ortalia Reclaim. Finally, we have triumphed against all the odds that were stacked against us. We have not only managed to reunite the peninsula, but also our colonies and lost territories under one flag of nation. Our age of humiliation is at an end, and now we stand tall as one of the great powers of the world. But we will not stop there soon. The world shall know the might of Italy, as it once had during the age of Rome. Onwards to victory. Yes, Avanti. Physical power plus 100, add a rising power, which grants daily physical power gain plus 0.2, and justify war goal uh, time minus 25%. There we are, rising power. Let's see, Italy has proven itself to be a player on the world stage and its people thirst for a return to true glory. Indeed. Do all of these have description? Seriously? Just the one? Kaiser Redux often lacks the uh, descriptions. Hmm. That's fine. But now we do this. Ta uh, Italy is reborn. Like a phoenix rising anew, Italy has been reborn. Now the very identity of our nation must be cemented like the Romans of old. The Republic will be abolished forever. And an Imperium shall rise. Get vent the Italian Empire. Gain base stability plus 5%. Political power plus 80. Ireland is under uh, Richard Mulcahy. Also, I gave the Swedes all of the Nordic states. I know I said in my... Um, in the, in the Rome-Moscow agreement that Russia would get Finland... But, uh, like, like I was saying, they didn't enter the war when we asked them to, so all they got was Karelia and uh, Sala. And uh, Pesh Pesh Peshnega. Pesh no. Peshenga, yeah. I did give them the Baltics, though. Just so they'd be screaming for it for the rest of the time if I didn't give it to them. Uh, they'll, they'll conquer the Far East and they'll do all that, which is fine. Uh, yes, rolling on. We'll wait until... I can't believe we still have Alaskan territories. That's just fucking weird. Triumph of the French exiles, indeed. Well, not really, but yeah, we gave it to them. But, you know, whatever. Demobilize our economy. I've done that twice now, because, of course, we had the Italian liberation call. We still have the recruitable pop, which is nice. We have 65 million... Or 67 million, sorry, core population. The Italian Empire, with our victory over the Austrians, we can now declare an Italian Empire. No longer will Italy be shackled by foreign powers. She will rule her own destiny. Avanti Italia. The kingdom of Italy will be known as Italian Imperium. And there we are. We are now the Italian Imperium, we have the proper flag back, and we are looking pretty goddamn good. Um, as Giovanni Montanari said, it was weird that we kind of annexed the French and the uh, Iberians in the in Balbo's original Kaiserreich theory, so we did not do that. He wanted uh, a red flood border, but unfortunately we can't do that because the state borders don't follow their own, and it would be weird if I just annexed the Alp, this region here. Um, yeah, so this is kind of the best we can do here, but it looks pretty goddamn good in my own opinion. And obviously things look very good on the Dalmatian coast. Things look great in Sardinia, in Corsica, in Malta, in Libya. Of course, we have Tunisia as well. There's 100,000 Italians there. So we needed that. And we needed our old colonies back here. We, we did keep the Abyssinians independent, though. There's no way we could colonize Abyssinia. Not a fucking hope. So we kept them independent. And as the last... Um, as the only uncolonized African country, though. There's, um, in, as the only uncolonized African country... Um, there's definitely respect there for the Abyssinians, so we let them have their own state. Uh, a puppet state, of course, but still their own state. Uh, what other changes did I, did I do? I, uh, Christian Kepley, I decided not to release the Bretons just because we gave them to the French. If, if we if we were setting up our own French puppet, that'd be different. But, um, yeah. Octans, yeah, there was no way I was giving the Octans, Octans their own state, not a hope. Um, yeah. Yep. Uh, I, this is uh, three times in a row now uh, with Kaiser Redux that we have had some form of major issue. First, it was Bukharin series um, where there was an update. That's why an update happened. Second time, it was as uh, Bogievsky's Novorossiya. Again, there was another update. That was very annoying. Now, it wasn't going to be a full campaign just to, due to the size of our state. And, and now... And now there's this. Where, where the, the world is literally falling apart. Look at this. If I, if I tried to give that to the Far Eastern National State, the game would crash. It's also... It's, uh, Mexico and Central America are collapsing as well. It's just falling into the void. Look at this. So, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, and it's a shame, because I love Kaiser Redux. It's, it's, it's way better than Kaiser Reich. Way better. Like, for Russia alone. For America alone. It's absolutely amazing. But it's just... It's unstable. Um, I could deal with it being slow... I can deal with that, no problem. I'm fucking slow, grand job. You know, I don't care at all. But the crashing? Now that's a problem. Instability is a problem. 
But yes, this is the conclusion. And Balbo gets cocked twice. Well, kind of cocked twice in the same universe. First, it was the Kaiserreich, where, where to be fair, that, that was my own doing, but the game was dog ass low. So I did end it there. But this time it's because it's crashing and, I, and like the game takes like 15 minutes to load to, to like to, to say from where from when you click play on Steam to when you get in game it takes like 15 minutes. Uh, I know I don't have the best computer, but still it's ridiculous. It's because everyone has content basically. Yeah. I uh, I'll be stepping away from Balbo for a while. Um, there's actually a few more mods that I can play him in. I can play him in Fuhrreich. Uh, and fewer redox, but well, I'll only pick the one. I'm not going to do it in both. Uh, I can play him in Thousand Week Reich, but only like the very end of the game, so that's probably not going to happen. And I can play him in Lavatoria in Austria. That's much more likely. That, that's the most likely of the three. But I think we need to go back to the New Order. We need to go back to Russia. It's been nearly 10 months since we were in Russia in the New Order. Um, and and my, my brain needs views. Uh, the, the views uh, on the Balbo series, on the various Balbo campaigns, have been great. So, yeah, my monkey brain needs comments. My monkey brain needs views and likes. So we're going to go and do a series there. Plus, we've like we've 609 subscribers. We've gained, like, two subscribers over the course of, of this series, which just isn't fantastic at all. I know it's lots of complaining, but there's lots to complain about, so what can I do? But all right, lads, I hope you... Yeah, Balbo got uh, nine episodes on both Kaiserreich and, Kai and both in his Kaiser Redux and his Kaiserreich series. But all right, lads, I hope you enjoyed this series. I'm sorry for the bad ending. But... Well, this is what would have happened had we continued fighting. And, like, another thing. Like, I spent all game refitting the Regia Marina. All bloody game. And I, I didn't even get to use it. Because the game just keeps crashing. And it's just... But alright lads, I hope you enjoyed this series. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting down below. And uh, I shall see you. Leave your suggestions for the next series down below. It won't be in Kaiser Redux, I can tell you that much. But, um... I mean, there's, there's, there's a thousand and one different things that I could play. You know, that's the thing. I shall see you in the next series.